All right, so I'm doing a review of the Spring Forest Qigong Five Elements that I just finished with um from Chun Yulin. And what happened was is that I had been planning on doing the, the DVD and I hadn't done it yet because this is a was a required purchase for um for uh Qigong Master Jim Nance's five element um Qigong class and because he's the he was the teaching assistant of uh Chun Yulin and I started um Chun Yulin's Qigong in 1999 and I was partying partying like it was 1999 because it was and <laughs> I was in Minneapolis and um and uh that was a awesome life-changing experience and Um, anyway, I, I took Jim Nance's, Qigong Master Jim Nance's class, um, three times, the 100 day five elements class, and 100 days in Taoism is called a gong, which is like a, it's actually from alchemy, because it's mimicking the gestation of the womb um, for the lower Dantian, and, <clears throat> and so I had, <clears throat> I had looked at the book in, the, this five elements and for the class, you know, studied the book because Jim, Jim told us to study the book. And I admit I was a little bit, um, actually, I remember when uh, Chin Lin introduced this new course of his, the five elements, and it was around 2013. Um, so that was like 10 years ago. And it, it includes the moving of yin and yang as the first exercise and his previous active exercises this is a standing active exercise um it was all his previous one has a moving of yin and yang as the first part and then the second part is called harmony of heaven and earth and then the seven steps of new life and so that makes an hour long practice and so the five elements is it's simpler than the harmony of heaven and earth harmony of heaven and earth is a bit of a complicated movement to exercise um so when he does the 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 first exercise is the element wood which is the liver organ and the emotion is happiness and that's the moving of yin and yang and now he says that the left hand is yin but i think i think i have documented him saying the left hand is yang elsewhere now it depends if you're female or male for females the left hand is yin and by far most of chinese students are females so i <laughs> i'm just saying that you know the fact that he said the left hand is yin is not it's not wrong i mean it's not you know i think it's because it's for the females 
Okay, so the the second movement is fire. Now this this actually this movement is included in the harmony of heaven and earth from his original act of exercise. Um, but this is basically the when you're making a chi ball. So again, the fact that your left hand is and right hand are yin and yang either way. Um, and then you bend the knees. And the emotion is joy. And so that's your, he really talks about the triple heater for that one, which I thought was a lot of fun. And what I really like, this is the first time I ever listened to the audio of this exercise. There's an audio CD that's included when you buy this, um, when you buy this from him. So you get a DVD and a CD. And so I don't know why I just never had listened to the CD because I was taking Jim's class every day. So I just, I didn't get a chance. But the booklet um, has all the images of the different exercises from Chun Yulin. And so, um, so then what I really like about the audio, as I was saying, is that he's, he talks the whole time. So he's talking to you through it. And then the music is really, you know, obviously meditation, like relaxing, gentle music. And then, the, but there's some actually some pretty interesting little audio sound music tidbits in there as a former musician i i appreciate the the intricacies of this of the soundtrack is pretty good there's some good stuff and what does that bring us to the third exercise which is earth and that's one thing i I had gotten wrong a subtle thing when I was taking Jim's class is you Chen Yu says you make a like a beach ball between your hands and I hadn't noticed that his hands are facing each other over his head and I and that makes the exercise a lot easier because I had him facing out and then you bend your knees and this is actually the hardest exercise oh wait Oh, I thought that was the triple meridian. Anyway, yeah, but so this is the spleen and stomach, and the emotion is peacefulness for the earth. And actually, when he's talking about the harmony of heaven and earth during this exercise, so he says, you know, with your hands over your head, that's heaven, and then when you are bending your knees and focusing your energy that brings your energy focus down so that's earth and so then you're harmonizing and that's like his um like I said his first active exercise had that um a lot of the over over the head hands over the head um as part of the exercise for that so <clears throat> So that makes sense that they that he called that harmony of heaven and earth. And so then the fourth exercise is metal for the lungs. And on this one you stretch your legs. He says you put 70% of your weight on the leg the the knee the knee or the leg that you're bending towards. And you just sort of stretch side to side. And I had to look this up when uh, I first started doing this because I was really curious because this is for the lungs. And um, it turns out that the meridian of the inner legs is the lung channel. So there you go. It's that corroborates the, <laughs> the exercise because you're stretching that inner leg when you do the lungs. Here, I'll show you this image. These are the, he's got the, 
so the 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 booklet that it comes in explains the five different elements with the exercise an image of the exercise and so the lungs is contentment now the other thing is that i was comparing these emotions with the traditional taoist emotions and it's a little bit different because the lungs is normally um courage or you know in terms of the positive emotion but contentment and courage are kind of similar when you think about it i mean if you're if you have if you're really content that means you got to have courage you know to be content so um and another emotion connected with the lungs is compassion when you connect it with the heart. Now the heart is overexcitement. Well, he calls it joy. So that joy is another um, overexcitement and, and joy are closely related. And that can be, you know, if you have too much overexcitement, that's a problem. But it's, this is all about, as he's saying, it's about balance, but it's more than just balance because you're going beyond the five emotions eventually to get to the the emptiness. And another thing I like is he says that the universe is yin and yang. Now that's that corroborates my um, online, you know, void is yin and yang because the universe is the the chi is yin and yang, you know, undivided chi and um okay so the last exercise is water and the kidney energy and bladder and well, one thing he points out in the he has a preparation exercise to warm up and he talks about how the bladder has more uh energy channels than any other organ of the body and I thought that was really interesting. And another thing is he, when you tap the top of the head, the by, by Hui energy point, which is the top center of the skull, he says that that's where all the Yang channels converge. And so when you first do the, the gong in uh, alchemy, um, if you read uh, Master Nan Hua Chin's book, um, Tao and, and longevity he describes an experience in the training where you you have this blissful rain of like raining down of energy from the top center of the skull and I had I had experienced that um, before I read Master Nan Chin's book you know when I, I when it when it happens it's a very distinct you know sort of like profound kind of energy experience now i didn't realize that that was the yang channels all converging and so that was like the restoring what they call restoring the the one the one jing in taoism where you 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 meditate to return the yin chi back into the yang chi and so depending on your age and use of energy you have so much yang chi which is the kidney energy so that's the i mean it's it becomes kidney energy when you build it up so that's the water and bladder okay and you put your hands on your heart so you're connecting that um you're bringing the yang up to the top of the skull, but then you bring it back down the front to connect the yang with the yin. And that's where you have the gratitude. In other words, the eventually all the energy channels return back to the heart, um, but they only happen after the yang is fully developed. So this is actually a very profound ending to the practice to make that connection. 
that's like an alchemy connection and um that's what brought me to practice it this this morning this morning like a s'more but this morning <laughs> is because um i had recently got a qigong long distance healing from qigong master jim nance and he kind of <clears throat> He kind of gave me a a mission, a healing mission, and he did, you know, the healing he did was very helpful um, for not just me, but I get sort of like a household healing, and um, and that made me reflect on the past. It's been 24 years now since I first um, started Spring Forest Qigong. And so when I felt that gratitude, all of a sudden I, re I remembered taking the Five Elements class from Jim Nance and him saying that gratitude was the most important emotion that he always returns to um, when he's with Chugong Master Chun Yi Lin. And so when I felt that gratitude, I was like, yeah, that's that's the heart energy. And it's such a beautiful um, f experience when you have the heart energy open up. Um, and I'm glad he calls it gratitude because you could call it love, but the the connection between the kidney and the heart is what makes it um, gratitude, which is, it's um, kind of a profound uh, connection there. Where, and so anyway, um, that's all I'm going to say, is that if you read the Taoist Yoga Alchemy, an immortality book it will go into more detail about the the five energy channels and how they all of the organs the main organs and how they all converge back to the heart where they originate um, once you restore the yang jing of the kidney energy and then you um so you fill up the lower, lower Dantian with yin chi and through um, purification and celibacy, you, you restore the yang chi and then that opens up the wan chi of the heart. The, the wan chi being the, the universe as emptiness, the cosmic chi universe or absolute void is what it's called. And when you achieve that, then you see light externally and you start to see auras and you can see spirits possibly. I mean, I did, but that was because Chen Yilin was healing the spirits. The, he heals ghosts on a regular basis also. And, okay, and then, so then after I finished the five element exercise I was just like really um exhilarated by how fun it was it was simple but the fact that he talked through the whole thing and that was he was really gentle about it and the exercises were simple and so the time flew by the music was great you know and before you know it, it's over and you're constantly doing something different. So your mind is always engaged and not, you don't get bored or anything. And so then just for fun, I returned back to the original Spring Forest Qigong active exercises that I had first gotten on cassette. If you can imagine that, it was originally on cassette in 1999 and then it got moved to CD, and I still practice that. I have the CD, and so when you listen to that, he 
he has a much more um, sort of like serious demeanor and there's this like deep music, the sort of the power of the, the moving of the yin and yang it starts out with. And, and as I said, that's the liver energy. So that's where you start with the meditation is you're normally with our eyes open, the yin chi goes from our liver to the heart and then goes out the eyes. So when we meditate, we close the eyes and we return the yin chi back to the liver. And then we began building up the liver energy. And, and then of course, that the yin chi, we can eventually, when we do psychic healing, that's the yin chi that goes out the eyes. And that's what I've been doing for the past, um, well, <laughs> since I, I, I fell out of enlightenment, if I fell back into worldliness, just because I wasn't practicing the active exercises enough and I didn't realize that the the active exercises which are in the martial arts training of Buddhism and Taoism are the foundation of the meditation and so when I was studying the alchemy meditation book a Taoist yoga alchemy in immortality he never mentions the active exercises. He ne he just assumes that all of his students are going to be doing martial arts training every day. And so he never, you know, the books about the sitting meditation and what it means, but actually the, you know, the active exercise of standing is based on the same energy channels as the sitting meditation. It's just um, as uh, Qigong Master Yang Shin, Yang Shin points out is that um, when you do sitting meditation, your spirit is moving while your body is um, motionless. And then it's the exact opposite when you're obviously when you're doing standing meditation, then you're your spirit is not moving and your body's moving. Now, what does that mean when your spirit's not moving? That's the emptiness that I was discussing this with a, another uh, Qigong student who he likes to ask me questions. And so I appreciate the, the feedback. And he, um, <clears throat> this, is, this is chapter seven in the Taoist Yoga alchemy and immortality book and it's called um freezing the spirit and it's basically the, the whole basic principle of putting your is when you learn the password of spring force qigong that is that is freezing the spirit so it's i am in the universe which means your spirit is the i the Shen, and it's in the universe, which is the Wan Chi. The universe is in my body. Now, what that means is the Wan Chi is stored in the lower Dantian as the body, the earth. Um, the universe and I combine together. Now, what that means is you put your spirit, your I, in below the the lower dantian of the universe and when you do that you turn the water turns the 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 fire as spirit turns the water as yin or earth energy into wan chi which is the steam and it, it gets a bit complicated when you realize that the yin chi has the yang shen and then the 
The Yang Qi has the Yin Shen, the Shen being the spirit. And um, the so I'm not going to go into all those de all those details, but the <clears throat> the point being that um, the <clears throat> the moving and sitting meditation converges in the emptiness because like if we look at our original human culture, the San Bushman, this is what the my friend who asked me this question, he said, well, you know, the San Bushman, they don't they don't really do sitting meditation, so how are they how are they freezing the spirit? If that's the foundation, if that's like the the simplest, you know, principle of the practice, how how can he do that in active meditation? And um, actually, what happens with the Sam Bushman, the males, they eventually, after they keep training all night and all night, they and the energy builds up, they actually fall down on the ground. And that's when they start doing astral travel as long distance healing. And the other males will then surround the male that fell on the ground. And then they will send energy into the male on the ground in order to protect his body and spirit, the connection as the spirit leaves the body to make sure it can get back to the body and maintain that connection. So it doesn't permanently leave the body. And then the other thing is the, the women will throw cold water onto the male who fell onto the ground. And, and the cold water is the, freezing of the spirit because it brings the spirit back down it grounds the spirit back down into the lower dantian and the reason that is done because the focus of the of the training is to heal the females the women by the males and then the females sing all night to then project their yin chi into the males and the males dance all night to turn that yin chi into increased yang chi yang chi and then so then that goes back into the females via the wan chi and the wan chi is what they the sandwich we call the gum gum so it's the cosmic the gum is actually female and in alchemy in Taoist alchemy, it's called the the green dragon. Um, so the the green dragon is female also, but it's also the Wan Chi. Um, and I will, I have to study that again because there's this profound um, transformation of the body of the yin and yang channels when you, based on the green dragon, basically the dragon is normally red. When we have our eyes open, that's the red dragon. So that's your yin chi that goes from the, it's in the blood and then it goes from the liver to the heart and then out the eyes. And so the secret is to use the yin chi of the liver, but turn it back into wisdom. And so the liver becomes green. And that's why I like eating lots of greens, green food increases the wisdom of the liver. And that's the yang shen, that when it gets focused back down in, into the lower dantian to then increase the yang chi and the energy cycles like that through the kidneys, the yang chi, and it comes back to the heart through the, as the wan chi. 
And that's really what uh, Chen Yilin teaches as level level four. And the person who had emailed me, he's, he actually said that he recently got the level four rainbow meditation um, from Spring Force Qigong. He asked about, you know, whether he can practice that or not, because it's a more advanced level. And I said, yeah, I mean, the Chinese Chinese says, well, this is just information and he can share the information, but whether you actually achieve that level in practice is another, you know, that's an experiential training. And, and I shared how I had used um, the ayahuasca to achieve, you know, in combination with the full lotus um, qigong meditation to then achieve level four. Um, when I fasted for, I can't remember how long I fasted, maybe it was just 24 hours, and then I did a very strong dose of uh, DMT-based plant with a M-A-O-I root, which is Syrian rue, and the plant was mimosa, hiwa, uh, mimosa hostilis. And when you combine those two together, then I access the rainbow meditation. And what happens is you you eventually you hear a loud ohm sound being emitted from the heart. And as you're in the rainbow astral realm of the third eye opening up, and you you understand that the all of our external perceptions of <clears throat> as explained in Buddhism, the perceptions of the five skandhas of um sensation and conception um I can't remember all the skandhas, but the form and the consciousness um the at any rate these these are all external the they first arise internally uh through the consciousness as spirit um but that in so that internal consciousness is actually precognitive so it's from the future and it's constantly guiding us um as a deep sub it's normally in the subconscious but as i was as i explained to this uh, qigong student uh, correspondent that you know through the yoga meditation it becomes super consciousness and by super consciousness that's a term that was used in yoga, but it's actually been corroborated recently by um, Dr. Aniriban Banyopahe documenting that the tubulin and microtubules are super radiance. They have super radiance, which means they have a super luminal, non local, a phonon signal. That phonon is a, an acoustic. Um, superluminal signal due to the negative refractive index of the tubulin and microtubules inside each of the neurons. But through the the microtubules interact with the mitochondria in our cells and the mitochondria then are splitting the water to then get the um, proton energy from the hydrogen and the oxygen and 
this process of splitting the water then creates virtual photons that are then emitted as bio, bio photons internally that are then absorbed into the microtubules. So you have this, <clears throat> you have this negative refractive index of the water splitting also through the microtubules. And that's a whole other layer that um, Stuart, Stuart Hameroff, he mentioned it once. He said, at first he was dismissing it. He's like, it doesn't, does, it has nothing to do with the water, but now he admits that um, that there is this level of the water um, in the channels um, for the yang. That's what the yang chi is from: is those um, positive ions, of the proton energy. What um, Dr. Mai Wan Ho explained, you know, to be the delocalized uh, proton energy for the meridian, the yang chi. And um, it has to do with the vagus nerve. And this is what and Andrei Puharich figured out also, is there's a close connection between the vagus nerve and the potassium in the body increasing against the um, sodium. And uh, Taoist master Zhang Chang says, you know, he's just like an electric eel. So if you take that literally, that's how an electric eel emits its charge. It's, um, it's current is from the voltage difference between the potassium and the sodium in the body. So he's, he's the electric eel or, or John Chang, if you prefer, is storing up the vagus nerve, um, potassium, um, a positive ion energy as the yang, yang chi and so um <clears throat> uh this is this is a due to the coherent um, bio photon energy originating from the virtual photons as the wan chi so then this is why when they tried to find the current in John Chang's body, they couldn't find it because it's more like an LED uh, coherent biophoton uh, current. And so he, he said, well, try my yin chi, which is the perineum, originates from the perineum. And then he says, try my yang chi, which originates from the, the um, kidney energy, but he had it is on his stomach, because that's where the lower dantian is, is you. It's behind the, the stomach. When it, once the yang chi is restored, then it, the lower dantian is behind the stomach. So... So we can see how the five elements are all interwoven and you can really, you can talk about it forever, which makes it fascinating in terms of energy healing and the rainbow um, meditation because you have the green, you have the five different colors. Actually, the this this doesn't really, the colors... The, the colors he uses are kind of strange because it's like, what is, I can't see what metal is. It's like gray. I mean, is that really a color gray? I don't know. Metal, the lungs are supposed to be white. Um, it's interesting. Everything else is, the earth is like yellow. Water is like purple and blue. You know, I guess he can't use white as a color, really. That's interesting. Anyway, um, so 
Oh, here. Oh, yeah, he has white in the book. He has metal as white, so you can see right here. Yeah, so there you go. It's uh it's just it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. Now, when he first did the active the first active exercise for Spring First Qigong, when I attended the level three retreat to open the third eye in uh two thousand, it was I think in October. Um it was yeah. And at any rate, he, when we first got there, there was, I don't know, maybe 150 people in the room, or maybe it was like a hundred, I don't know. And he said, well, we're going to do the moving of yin and yang for two and a half hours <laughs> nonstop. And I, and he must've been joking, but I guess he wasn't because, um, Qigong master Jim Nance, like, I don't know, like 15 years later, no, 13 years later, maybe he was saying, well, he said, well, remember, you know, Chen Yi, he says like at first, you know, because Chen Yi, Chen Yi, he, he talks about how he wasn't, he wasn't Americanized yet. And so, um, like Jim said, he had to point out to Chen Yi, it's like, well, you know, people can't, you know, they can't do that at first. You know, the two, we can't do moving of yin and yang for, I mean, another thing is that Chen Yi said he, he would used to explain, you know, he said, well, at first your, your mind is going to be very bored. You know, when you first do these exercises, you'll be very bored. But, but after, you know, after a while, you'll, you'll learn to really enjoy the, I mean, what he's really talking about there is emptying out the mind when you you don't get bored when you, when you when you can just um you know like in deep dreamless sleep you're not bored when you're not thinking you're not <laughs> when you and that that's really what the standing the standing active exercises it's it's what they call ting in um tai chi which is to listen. Ting is a deep listening. And so Chun Yi, he uses this word a lot when he talks about healing. It's that he does a deep listening. And then he gets these spiritual visions of where to focus the energy for the healing. So that's exactly what that super radiance is in the deep in the body of the microtubules and the tubulin that's been corroborated by science. It is a, a phonon signal that then is, um, it's Dr. Aniriban Banyopahe. He first discovered, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago that um, the microtubules, their strongest conductance is at ultrasound frequency and there's a 3,000 times amplification of the microtubial conductance at ultrasound. And this is due to quantum coherence of the uh, tubulin inside the microtubules as a negative refractive index, with the quantum coherence being the super radiance. Now, what's fascinating about ultrasound is that it is both a it arises due to piezoelectric conductance. So it's both mechanical and electromagnetic. And it turns out that the, the collagen in the body is 90% 90 vertically aligned. So when we do, when we do the standing act, active exercises, what we're doing is activating that ultrasound in the body um, through the microtubules that are in the collagen. And then, so in the quantum consciousness model, they're focused on the neurons in the pyramidal, pyramidal cells in the, the cortex of the brain. 
and they're saying that you need those pyramidal cells in order to have sentient consciousness, you know, like a self-reflective consciousness. But in the non-Western meditation or yoga tradition, what they're saying is that there's this, the what Roger Penrose calls proto-consciousness is actually not dependent on the neuron sentient consciousness. So in, in shamanism and, and animism, the proto-consciousness is a the universal formless awareness that cannot be seen, but it can be listened to. And so this is what the ting is resonating with is the wan chi that's both inside and outside the body at the same time. And it is through this deep listening that has the eyes closed. So uh, Chen Yilin, he talked about um, his best time doing the moving of the yin and yang for two and a half hours is when he's barely moving at all. He's moving so slowly that you can't even see that he's moving. And the irony being is that when you sit in stillness, then you're, you're moving the fastest you can ever move because you're actually achieving precognition and a superluminal signal. And so I used to joke about that with my coworkers with an, at when I worked at Clean Water Action, I had two male coworker friends that the three of us would talk about energy healing. I actually would do energy healing on them when they get when they got tired at work. They would ask me to charge them up and I would send energy out through my eyes. I'd send um yin chi energy into them and then they would thank me and go back to work and it was it was kind of funny that um at any rate that's a that was that was a long time ago now that's like 20 years ago already or almost almost 20 years ago like 18 i mean i i kept working there after that i didn't i stopped doing that healing and then i had a female coworker that um, took an interest in the energy healing and then kept, decided to join me at work. And normally I worked alone after everybody else was gone. But this uh, female coworker would come back to work. I mean, it's kind of, it's hard to believe and I want to talk about it, but she would work uh, the normal shift and then she would come back to be with me alone. <laughs> and I would just sit in full lotus and, you know, it would be the same yin chi, yin chi um, energy healing through the full lotus and through the eyes, well, the, through the pineal gland. And then I told um, Chin Yu Lin about this, and he said, well, you know, it's great that you can give females um, bliss, but as long as you keep doing that, then your energy will be weak. <laughs> and that's basically what happened, is I overused my Yang Chi energy, because the Tantra means you're splitting the Wan Chi back into... Yin Chi and Yang Chi, so you're doing the opposite of alchemy, and you're burning up your internal Wan Chi, and the only way you can restore it is by doing the alchemy and to access the Wan Chi again through, you know, harmonizing the heaven and the earth, the Yang Chi and the Yin Chi. So this is way longer than I expected, but as you can tell, I I had fun talking about this and maybe, maybe you will find some benefit in it. <laughs> and oh, 
but as a review of the Five Elements book, where was I? I was supposed to be reviewing it. And I highly recommend it. It's You get the book with the, it's full of the images and explains the practice. And then you get the, you get the, the um, audio CD, which I just did for the first time. And then you get the DVD, which I, I look forward to that. I'm going to try that out later on today. And so I guess Qigong Master Jim Nance is not, he's apparently he stopped doing his class. It's five elements class, but when you go to his website, it's it asks you if you're interested in doing this class to contact him. But um, as far as I'm aware, he when in his chi talks that he does, he mentioned that somebody sent me his chi talk, which I I want to thank this friend, another Qigong friend, but um, for sending that, and I think he. I think um, that, uh, yeah, he said that, you know, he had done it, he's been doing it for, I think he did it nine times in a row, the class nine times, which is almost three years, something like that. And it kind of makes sense that he could stop at nine because nine is the, the number of growth in Taoism and Pythagorean philosophy. And that's how I got into all this was through Pythagorean music philosophy. So I will leave it at that. And you can go to uh, the Chugong Master Jim Nance website to do the long distance healing. And you can ask him if he's going to you can say that you want to do the five elements class. Um, you can submit it. Maybe he will restart the class again sometime. Thank you.